Hey guys, today I'm going to do this tutorial on um, how to download movies from, or, or download and burn, or how to burn your movies onto a DVD, okay, so that you can go and play your um, movies in DVD player or elsewhere, okay. Now the first thing you're going to need is, um, you're going to need to download a movie on your computer. Um, I use t torrents when I download, um, if you got another way, you download a computer, that works too, I'm not sure how you do it. Um, today I'm going to show you one way to download movies. Um, there are multiple ways, but this is just the way that I use because it's the way I've learned. And, um, it's one of the simpler ways for me. Um, we use a pro program called DVD Flick, okay? DVD Flick is right here, okay? Now, um, you're going to need to download this. Um, I'm going to stick it in a link on the right, okay? For this, the link to get there. So let's bring it up here, okay? You can mostly just search in Google if you really want to, but um, let's do DVD flick dot this be DVD flick .net, Okay, once you get here, all you do is go to download, and you push download DVD flick right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and copy the URL real quick. Okay, I'll make sure I see that in the description. Now this way, um, when you download movies like this, it's gonna take uh one or two hours. I'm not sure if there's faster ways, but this um, program I'll bring up in a second. Um, it it um, leaves a whole lot of different options. You can create menus and subtitles and all kinds of stuff like that, and um, chapters in your movies instead of just watching the whole way through. So I think that's neat, and that's why I use this. Now, um, first you have your downloaded movies, okay? I'm going to go, minimize this down, I'm going to go into my DVD flip, okay? And here it's coming up. And then I will go and find, okay, right here. There you can see this is the DVD flick right here, okay? Now, let me go ahead and go into my documents. Alright. And let me go into download. This is where all my downloaded things are from, um, from all my uh, torrents, okay? Right here I have G.I. Joe, The Rising, which I never really down let me see if I have any movies I used to have. Here we go. Um, find a good movie. Um, we'll just do Shooter, okay? All you do is you go in and find your video file. Okay, here is your video file. This could be an AVI file, most likely. Um, I think it supports a few other files, but you just find your downloaded movie file, okay? Um, if you're getting these from torrents and you need help with the torrents, please check them out at the tutorial. I will stick it in the description in the right for you to go and access. Now, once you have your file up, all you gotta do is take it and drag it, okay? You take it and drag it here. I sometimes just move my mouse around a bit and it sometimes loads it fast, okay? Here you go. Now, you have it right here, now your movie's here, okay? To go ahead and create it, all you gotta do is put create DVD, okay? Now, what you might wanna do is, you might wanna go into here, okay? And the major things you need to know about is this, okay? This names your DVD, so when it comes up in the DVD player, this is what it's going to show it's called, okay? So here, since this movie is called Shooter, I'll just go like that, and then, okay, it's, it's fine like that, okay? You can also um, check the thumbnail for your thing, okay? Also, the um, ratio that you want to have, okay? I just do widescreen, okay? Then, new chapter. Create chapters every how many minutes, or create a certain amount of chapters and it equals the amount for the movie which is how much time is okay? And um if you have more than one title or movie to download, you can push apply to all the titles, okay? Video sources I have never really used. Um I'm not sure what it does. Audio track I never really use. Subtitle tracks never use, okay? Chapters in general, that's just you mostly thinking chapters is cool because you can create chapters in your movie. So you can go and fast forward like a, a regular D V D, okay? So you have that down. Alright, I'll do create chapters every 10 minutes, okay? So chapter every 10 minutes, but accept. Now, you need to go into project settings, okay? You name your title, okay? Go ahead and name it again, okay? Whatever you want to name it. This one's called Shooter. And then, the other thing is video. I never use audio. I never use and playback. I never use. So, um, you can look into those things you want to, but then all you I'll do is general and burning. A burning. All you can do is push burn project to disk, go and name it again, and then 
Um, you can check mark any of these things if you want them. You can like your speed. I suggest keeping the speed at four X or two X. Um, you can go a bit faster if you want to. It all depends. You just don't know how playback's gonna work. And then you push accept. Okay. Now, other than that, you're mostly done. Then there's even guides here at the top to help you do stuff. Okay. So now your movie's ready to go. Okay. You can push create DVD if you want to. But if you want to add a menu, you go into menu settings, and here you can actually go and choose a menu. So when you ever put your DVD in, it'll bring this up, and you can choose a menu. Okay. I'm just gonna do black here, okay? And you can preview it, see? Now, when I bring it up, it's gonna do this. And this will be play. I'm gonna check out the chat. Look, see? I can push that. Alright. And that's menu preview, okay? Um, pretty simple. And you can go and check the different uh, languages if you want to. Um, that's mostly that. And then all you gotta do is push, except make sure you have auto play menu on if you want the menu to show up. Make sure you push that. You just push accept. All you do is push create DVD. Alright. This this will come up if you downloaded a movie before. I just push yes. It doesn't really matter. This is where it will come up if you haven't down downloaded anything yet. Push okay. Now it is downloaded. Okay. I'm going to abort it. Well. No. I'll, I'll just keep going. You have to make sure you have your D DVD rewritable and your DVD rewritable drive. What this will do right now is it's encoding the video. Encoding it up so it will work. Okay. Usually if you, if you have a faster computer. It'll go a lot faster, download faster. I don't have the fastest computer. But um, this is most of the basics of what you have to do. Alright, it'll go through this whole thing right here. After that's done, I'll just burn it to your disk. I'm burning it to your disk. Take it I'm just going to board it here. I have this movie downloaded for myself. Alright, now, the other way to. Um, let's get rid of this. And I'm just going to save your projects and stuff like that, or open them again. Okay, you can save your projects and save it. Uh, another thing you can do is, is I believe, is Nero. Um, Nero, they have a trial online. Also, if you do torrents, I think you can actually download uh, Nero 9. Um, let me see if I have Nero here. I'm going to bring it up. Um, I've never used this to download videos. I've used the music, and I've used the music once. And um, I guess it was okay, but um, it wasn't as, as impressive as Windows Media. It didn't work as well. So, it might go faster, though I don't know if it is, actually, is exactly what you are looking for or want. Um, I'm not sure what Fire Nero 9 does videos, but if you download Nero 9, you can most likely find where you need and what you need. So, um, I got the burning thing coming out, just check it out. Um, I don't know if... I'm not sure. You can look through Nero 9 if you want to, but what I use, I just use the regular DVD flick. I would just stick with DVD Flick. Um, I showed you through the video what to do. If you have any comments um, or questions, please message me. Leave a comment here. I will help you out. Um, also, check the description. I have something there about this thing called Swagbucks. What it is is you search using their um, search engines powered by Google, Ask.com. And um, when you do that, they reward you with points. And those points, you can actually go and get free stuff. Um, I myself, I have gotten many things from them. Um, it's really great. There's PlayStation 3s, Xbox 360s. At the moment, I'm saving up for one. I shall hopefully be there soon. Um, you get stuff really fast, and it works great. So um, make sure you check that out, guys. Um, also, rate, comment, subscribe. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and um, good luck.